Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 118 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, yay! Where today, I'd like to check out this cloud shifter from Nature's Aura. So for that, I'm going to make uh, a weather detector uh, from Cyclic, which seems pretty cool. Now this guy apparently emits a redstone signal based on the weather. Now we're going to need to like get it to rain somehow, but luckily the cloud shifter is capable of doing that for us. All we need to do uh, for the for the cloud shifter, if we check the book here, I think I know I know fire charge is part of it. So dark prismarine will make it rain. How are we for prismarine? Not great, not terrible, but we can make prismarine now with the nature's transformation catalyst in a natural altar with nether quartz. So let's get some of that going on. Yeah, is that cool? So golden stone bricks. Uh, do we not have any more of that gold power stuff? I might have burned it all. That's fine. I was using it on my trees. Uh, so we're going to need you. We're going to need a brewing stand. We're going to need uh, an infused rock, which I know we have some of. Infused rock, glowstone, and an ingot of the skies. Glowstone, an ingot of the skies. Doot, doot, doot. Generally speaking, we need that, right? Yeah. And what else do we need here? Uh, infused rock. I think I just made more because I was running low on them. Sweet. What I do wrong? I did something wrong. Ritual of the forest. Golden stone bricks. That would be you. Leaf brewing stand. Leaf brewing stand. Infused rock. Inga to the skies glowstone. I feel like that's, that's it, right? Ink of the skies, glowstone, infused rock. The order that you put this in does not matter, right? So that shouldn't make a difference. Golden stone bricks, gold leaf brewing stand. Golden stone bricks, gold leaf. Brewing stand. Tree grow. Do what now? Am I crazy? What am I doing wrong here? We've got all the powder, right? Yep. Uh, I'm confused. Give me a sec. So the only thing I can think of is this is a bug, right? Only thing I can think of. So what I'm going to do is void one, 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 one. And then you, and then you. So I voided all the items I need, and then I can have a transmutation catalyst. Does that work? Everybody cool with that? I, I The only thing I can think of is this is a bug, because I can't find any reason that this wouldn't work. It should work. I can't figure out why it's not working. I've tested like six different things. So I don't know if like the recipe itself is bugged or, I don't know. Um, but I now have the transmutation catalyst. So I'm pretty sure I just put this on top of any one of these. And there's a bunch of catalysts we can get, by the way. Uh, the transmutation catalyst being one of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's the crumbling catalyst. And basically it does is it adds recipes to what it can do. And you put these catalysts on top of one of the lower dudes. Um, so transmutation catalyst, for example, allows you to convert, uh, if you're in the nether, you can do bottled darkness to dragon's breath, for example. Uh, you can use a leather recipe, there's another wart recipe, so different recipes depending on whether you're in the overworld or not. Uh, for this one, we can put in quartz. Why are we so low on quartz, of all things? Shouldn't we have more quartz than this? I feel like we should have more quartz than this. Uh, so on the up, you are going to now allow quartz. 
right? And on the this bit, you're going to allow the extraction of prismarine shards. So if I do this, now because this is here, it can do that. Cool? I guess it takes a lot of mana to do that, or aura, or whatever. Hey, there we go. Woohoo! Sweet. All right, so now uh, if I made some dark prismarine, uh, which is more expensive to make than the fire shards, or the fire charges, but let's see. I, I think it's just dropping on there? Oh, hello. That's cool. Now, in theory, look. It's emitting a redstone signal of eight. How cool is that? Okay, okay. So now, um, what if we wanted to drop our module from a modular router, which I'm just gonna make it this way. And I want you to run on a redstone pulse dropper module, configure him to drop in front, and I'm gonna give you sunflowers. So that when you get a redstone signal, you should drop a, a, a sunflower in front of you. Cool, ready? <gasps> I think it's working. That's cool. And then the redstone signal should turn off, and next time it starts raining, this should happen automatically, right? Like as soon as it starts raining, We'll see if it happens like too quickly, right? Or a thunderstorm for that matter. Like if I do this, right? It triggers a thunderstorm and this guy will emit a redstone signal of 15 rather than, no, oh. that's fine. Either way, oh, there we go. Yeah, now, now it's 16 because it's a thunderstorm, right? But he pulsed, I picked up the sunflower. Well, it still worked, doesn't matter. We win, does the thing. Oh no, I see what happened, it, 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 it pulsed, and then when it was switching, it turned on the rest of it again. Doesn't matter. You know what happened. Uh, the point is, is this should work. Cool, right? I like it. So now we have an automatic rain turn off. That is cool. Eh? Not too shabby. Let me put away some stuff. Let me put away from some of this junk that I got accumulated here. You can see how many times I was testing that tree growth ritual. Because I'm like, why ain't this working? But it's all good. We got it going. Uh, and now we've used a healthy amount of aura to make that happen, so I can flip my lever and generate aura again. Isn't that cool? Do you think it's a little too fast? I wonder if it's a little too fast. Does the shooting mark have anything to say about how long it takes to generate or whatever? Um, where's that? Creating... Does it say anything about it stops or it takes a while? No, nothing really. It says it should be pretty quick. I might, there's no There's no attribute that I saw, I don't think, that had like any kind of a cooldown, but I still might slow it down a smidge. Like what if we made it, hey, you should be ticks make you 20 so that you're a little bit slower. That feels better to me. I like that. Knowing that I can control it is a big part of it, right? Until we run out of ender pearls, because I didn't set up automating ender pearls. But we can do that. Um, what I'll do is I'll just stick for now. I mean, it could be kind of anything. I just don't feel like running, which we'll call it over here. But we can do a. Should I do it with a modular router? Could probably do that. Um, or we could just have underneath them, uh, you know, laser nodes or something. Yeah, we could probably do that. Yeah, we could probably do that. Let's do that. That seems cool. Uh, shovel, 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 shovel. That'll work. Okay. Uh, and then is a chest. 
that we'll feed off of. And then under here, we'll have some nodes. Okay, and you will extract. Should I filter this? I don't think it'll hurt. You're only allowed to extract ender pearls, and you can do eight at a time. I don't care, but I would like you to do round robin. Okay. Uh, so you know what? In order to demonstrate that, okay, and then up here can be an insert. Do it like this. On the up can be an insert. I don't have to do anything with the inserts, by the way. On the up can be an insert. And on the up can be an insert. Cool. And then let's get our laser wrench going. That should all be cool. Now if I check you, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. But if I put this in here, he should round robin these guys. Sweet. Now, keeping in mind that he's um, operating once per tick, I should probably throw some overclockers in here so we can run a little bit faster on the up. Cool. Zoop. And then everybody should have eight. Ah, cool. Everybody gets eight. Okay, well, that's not bad. All right, so you go away, you go away, and uh, you can be put away. And that looks good to me. Sure, why not? A couple more ender pearls just to keep somebody happy. I like it. Cool. And then we can do this. And you'll notice that he'll... Two at a time. I think he's good. All right, that works for me. And that should be a ton of mana. Uh, I might look into doing some other ways to get generate ore, because I mean, we're going to run out of event rolls eventually. Not that I can't turn on my mob farm, but still, you get the idea. I think we're getting low on gold leaf, so I'm going to deploy my drone. Two thing. So I need two gold leaf, an eye, and some gold. See? The ritual's working. So it was just the transmutation catalyst that wasn't working. That's weird, right? It's a little weird. Sweet. I made myself. So now I don't know where it went. Where'd you go? Did you get picked up by Buddy Drone? No. I don't think you would have. Uh, there it is. Found it. Environmental Eye. Sweet. The reason I made that is I wanted to make an aura detector who will apparently emit a redstone signal based on how much aura there is in the chunk. Or in the area that it's in. Or so I thought. Uh, the aura detector gives a redstone signal based on the amount of aura in the closest same element, so long as you attach a comparator to it. For that, its range of display is similar to that of the amount of aura. All right, so I need a comparator. I had a feeling it would be something like having a comparator, but... Oh, look, we're out of quartz! Ah, that's funny. I mean, I know we have some, right? I mean, I'm sure we have some. Wow, we are, like... Surprise! I mean, we have some in here. What can I do with this to make him... I can blast him into one. Enrichment chamber into six. That should be cool. All right, I'm going to enrichment chamber into six him. Do I have an enrichment chamber? Pretty sure.
enrichment chamber in the six. I'm sure, we've got an enrichment chamber in here. Enriching factory. That should work, right? Works for me. Alright, now give me a comparator. We can test this little gadgetry out. Cool. So, you with a redstone signal of 15. Okay. That's nifty. So, we could do something here-ish to basically turn this on. Right? If we wanted to. That might be something I do at some point soon. I'll think about that one for a minute. Uh, for now, I don't want automating the end of pearl usage. I kind of want to have ma manual control over it. I just wanted to kind of show that you could automate it if you want relatively easily. Also, this Solignolia is doing so little for me. <laughs> I'm getting rid of it. I am getting rid of it. But look how much uh, gold leaf we just got. That's cool beans. All right, not too shabby. And you can be put away now, Mr. Drone, because you did your job. Uh, where are you? Drone put away tool. Yeah, letting the, the, the gold leaf spread is definitely the way to go. All right, hold on. It should be working. You ready? Completely unplanned. It just worked. Did exactly what it was supposed to do. How cool. How cool. Huh? Alright. Good times. Alright, so easily I can upgrade, I think. Oh, you lose all your aura store? That's kind of a bummer. But I guess I can make the aura trove. Oh well, that's fine. Now I think this thing will automatically charge itself from the aura in the environment. See it up there draining? Because this effect is active. Now, I thought having the aura so extremely full would be enough. Um, and I could also charge it this way if I wanted to. This holds about three times as much as the other one. So this might drain my aura significantly. But I thought this would be enough to unlock some more chapters. But I guess not. Uh, aura imbalance. I mean, we have maybe we haven't drained it enough. That's possible. Wow, I am filling that thing up a lot, and I am not seeing the effects of draining it a lot, so that's funny. I must have really overcharged this orbit, to be fair. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, we barely put a dent in how much charge we put into the aura. That's funny. All right, let me uh, let me see. What else did we want to play with in here? Uh, so that's the aura trove. That's done. I wanted to check out the Staff of Riches. That sounded cool. Uh, so that needs a token of euphoria, which is a joy, which I think we have an extra of. Thank you. There you are. I saw it. There it is. Cool. Uh, riches. Staff of Riches. That's going to need two more of those ancient wood dudes. And then bing, bang, boom. All right, so now in theory, this should highlight all chests through blocks. Yeah, see, the aura went down significantly here. Right? In the radius of 60 blue blocks or so for about a minute. Oh, look. Hey, yeah, no, there's definitely some stuff over there. Look at that. It's highlighting them. See them all? That's all my stuff. Okay, cool. So it just puts little orange or gl glowing sparklies on them. And that's how you know what's up. What are you doing here, nitwit? He's apparently a nitwit. Okay, then. I mean, I don't disagree. What are you doing here in the middle of the forest? But... Okay, uh, I'm gonna just kind of hang out over this channel later. Oh wait, so this should, did I chunk load that area? I think so, I think it's chunk loaded. Eh, maybe not exactly. I think I, oh no, it worked. It worked. 
Any uh, chests around here? Not really, unfortunately. That's cool, though. So if you're out exploring and you're looking for an underground, you know, dungeon or whatever, that's the way to go. I should check and see. Let's see. I don't want you guys crossing chunk boundaries if you can help it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this into this chunk and put the redstone dust in between you two. And that should work the exact same way. And now, if I want to, I can... Am I chunk loaded? I am actually already force loading this chunk, so we're cool. Awesome. All right, so I've managed to drain the aura in this chunk a little bit. I'd like to drain it more. Like, I'd like to maybe drain it all the way and see what happens. Is that a horrible idea? Probably. Now, here's a question. Uh, does time in a bottle increase the speed at which you drain from the chunk? It does. That's good to know. Okay. Uh, so if I made another aura trove, that would be a good way to rapidly drain what's here. Um, is there anything else that I could, like, rapidly drain what's here? I bet if I did a bunch of this... Because I suspected that this was a lot of aura. That seems to be draining, right? Yeah, I'm down with that. I might just muffle the bell sound in this area, though, because it's a little bit loud. Five. Can I delete you? I can just reset the anchor. All right, but radius of like three. What's it called? Ding? Uh, what is this sound? Nope, not that. that better? Nope. That wasn't it. <laughs> that was not it. Wait, when did, when did, uh, hold on, I thought I did. Oh. Uh. Which one of these is making that noise? That's not it. All right, I am out of ideas. Oh, look, you, uh, you have significantly drained the aura. Wow, I did a lot of aura draining there. I should probably stop making ports at this point. Is there a way to drain the aura even further? I mean, it is really low. And I thought I would get some kind of achievement or something for completely draining it out. Or maybe even progress in the aura imbalance thing. Let's look at the achievements and see if there's anything that hints at what we should be doing right now. Uh, no, that stuff really. Collect aura using a bottle in the end. Uh, that could be it. Maybe I need to do that. All right, well, let's charge this aura back up. My poor trees are being decimated. That should be enough for now. Let's pop into the end and use a bottle there, and maybe that'll give us an idea. Bottle and cork. I'll just bring half a stack to the end with me. I thought we would get some cool, like, hey, you, like, super drained all the things, but no. Okay. New chapters were unlocked, though. That's cool. Oh, sweet. There was a thunderstorm for a second. But guess what? My automation worked. And no more thunderstorm. Did you see the particles? They're still there a little bit. It worked. Did what it was supposed to do. Oh my goodness, we are super low. Because we're still recharging our natural altar. <laughs> oh, we're going to need some more of these 
we are definitely going to need some more of these trees uh, to recharge things, but we'll get there. Uh, so let me put this away for a while. Well, I'm just going to put it in here. I don't think we need to carry it around with us. So what did that unlock in our book? That is the question. All right. Uh, Ender Crate. Let me read through these and see if there's anything else I want to check out. Oh, cool. There's an item that flies towards the nearest end city. That's pretty slick. Uh, a couple other cool gadgets here that I wanted to check out. Uh, let's see what we get. Aura Attraction Card. Oh, that's neat. Huh. Move ore around the world. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, the main thing I want to check out, though, is a shifting sundial. This looks very similar to uh, this block, the cloud shifter, except it works on the time of day, which is cool. And I'm all about. I am all about that. So let's check this shifting sundial out, because that looks neat. Um, to set it up, all those required for the shifting sundial to have an item frame on it containing a hand of time. So we're going to need the shifting sundial and the hand of time. Okay, so a shifting sundial is going to need uh, a clock, and we're also going to need some more of these things. Uh, let's see, a couple infused of these guys, and then we're going to want terror, which is a token of fear, which I might have an extra one, but I think I'm short on joy. So we'll want to make that one. Uh, let's see, Sundial. Yeah, I don't think we have an extra joy. I think I just used my last joy. Yep, okay, not a problem. So that is Daylight, Torch, Flower, Apple, etc. Iron, Apple, Torch. Daylight, uh, this one, sunlight, sorry, my bad. And then uh, I believe we need one of these, of which we have many now. And what else was it? Uh, iron apple, oh, right, any flower. And then a sapling. Thank you. And then we want a nether star. It's working. Did I misread this, Spirit of Calling? Or do I need like a better Spirit of Calling? Hmm. Hand of Time, Spirit of Calling. Yeah, no, we got a Spirit of Calling. Oh, did an Enderman steal my flowers? I feel like an Enderman stole my flowers. I think an Enderman stole one of my flowers. I think an Enderman stole two of my flowers. I think an Enderman stole three of my flowers. How many flowers are you guys stealing here? Hundred percent that's what happened. Enderman stole flowers. Are you kidding me? All right, so there is my hand of time. Now we should be good for a shifting sundial. I will need the fear to be upgraded though. And this is my last spirit of calling, so I should make a few more. There we go. Sweet, so shifting sundial. Okay, and now how does this work? Um, how's the ability to do was quite expensive. Set up as a fast forward any time of day of these. To set up all that is required is for the shifting sundial to have an item frame on it containing a hand of time. Okay, so an item frame on it containing a hand of time. Okay, and then 
The rotation of the hand in the frame will then determine the time that will be skipped to, with the hand pointing to the top corresponding to the night. To activate a time skip, a regular clock has to be dropped very close to the sundial. This, of course, comes at the cost of a large amount of menorah. So I think I do this. Do you think that would be morning? And this would be noon, and this would be evening, and this would be midnight? Could be. Ooh, that's cool. All right, so now, check this out. If we had a daylight sensor, right? Now, do you need a comparator or no? Okay, so it's eight because it's pretty bright, right? Now, what we would probably want is a redstone doohickey. Like this? Well, no, because we want the uh, the modular router to do the thing, right? So let's put this guy here. Okay. And then we'll have a modular router. Ready to drop her. in front of himself on a pulse blocks. Okay. And then we would probably want the daylight sensor. It just triggered it. Well, that's okay. It's working, so that's cool. Okay. And now it's daytime, so that turned off the lights, right? So now let's see at what time... The Endermen are super trolling me today, guys. What can I say? They really are. Yeah, I know. I can only sleep during the day. We're getting there. It's almost day. Let's go. Let me sleep through the night. Let's go. All right, sleeping through this night. Okay, sure. Okay, so at what point are you dark enough to trigger it? So you are currently at a redstone or a power of five, hitting that. So the further away, by the way, that I make this, deadly day, drain enough ore to cause negative imbalance effects. Oh, I did it. I did the thing. I drained the ore a whole bunch. Yay. What negative imbalance effects are we seeing? Is it going to tell me? Hey, we found some. Sweet. We found some negative imbalance effects. That's that's a good time. I'm sure that using all the aura here does not help, right? So now, again, the further away my daylight sensor is from the block determines at what time of night it will trigger. But any second now, it should activate and we should see this work. You ready? Here goes nothing. So this is automating daytime. That is cool. I will take it. I'm going to move you uh, a little further away. I think he just triggered again. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Yes. Okay, cool. So now it'll be just barely dark and it'll click over to day. How cool is that? Huh? That is awesome. So now automated, no rain, automated, no night. I'm 100% down with that. Uh, now let's handle this aura situation because, I mean, holy cow, did we really drain? We drained the aura completely. 
Like, there is literally nothing left in the aura. Oh, I'm getting a Breathless debuff. All right, so let's see what debuffs we get. Breathless. Um, okay. Harder to regenerate health. Um, Netherrack breaks down, I guess, if this was in the Nether. Um, some mobs get angry. All grass will decay, along with leaves from trees and other plants. The more ore is drained from there, the worse this effect will get. It seems that this effect only occurs in the overworld and the nether. Cool. Unstable outbreak. Explosions will start sporadically occurring in a large area on the surface. Their severity and inter interval vary based on the severity. Okay, that's not good. We need to uh, fix the ore. Let's go ender pearls. Let's go Ender Pearls. I may have overdone it a little bit on the aura usage. Bring me up to a steady level, would you, Ender Pearls? Now what I can also do... is make some more... Um, ancient saplings. So let's see... Dandelions and poppies. Is there a good way to get poppies? Yes, from dandelions. Alright, so you're getting supercharged aura. It does seem to be helping a lot with that, right? But let's... Clip you for a bit. So now we're above the normal threshold, right? We're higher than normal. So that's good. Uh, I think we're in a good place right now. But we're going to need a steady supply of ender pearls if we're going to use this much aura. But let's also um, get ready to do a bunch of tree stuffs. So I wanted uh, wheat, gold leaf, sugarcane, and saplings. Wait, what? Wheat? Seeds. I don't know I was going to say. Sugar cane and gold leaf. Perfect. Now, I never really did set up any automation around this, but that's okay. I'm, I'm only going to make... I'm not going to make all 32, but I am going to uh, stick in a chest nearby the, the, the resources needed to make more of these. For now, I'm probably just going to make... I don't know, what do we think? That many? And look, it's already becoming daytime. So stinking cool. All right, back in a few. Let me make a few of these. All right, that should do it. Perfect. Okay, now I can just plant my trees again. Lovely. That should be fine. Excellent. Nope, doesn't matter. And we know that we tend to use a lot of aura in this area because of the whole, you know, hello thing. Uh, now here's a curiosity. Uh, can I can I get saplings from these guys or no? I'm assuming no, right? Like that would be silly. But one can always try. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm definitely not getting saplings from them. I didn't think you would get saplings from them, but we'll have to try. All right, cool. So, hey, how's that? Is that cool or what? Like, fully automated daytime, fully automated no rain. I'm down with both of those. All right, I think it's wrapping up point. So, Dell Toy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We definitely pushed Aura to its boundaries, both up and down today. 
but had some fun. Also, I really like this automation. Like, it's super cool. All right, wrapping up point. That was my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.